If you were in the market to buy a home this year, or maybe you were in the market last year in 2020, you know that as a buyer, this is one of the most challenging real estate markets we have ever seen. And a lot of that has to do with the lack of inventory. But in this video, I wanna talk about some of the pros and cons when it comes to new construction. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of the things that might be of value to you if you were actually on the fence when it comes to buying either a existing home or talking to a builder and doing a new construction build. Now keep in mind, I am talking about new construction and not a custom home. A custom home is a little bit different where maybe you found a lot and you went and you found a builder who was going to build a home on that particular lot. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to larger developments where you see some of the well-known and larger builders build homes. But before we get started, a little bit of house cleaning. I'm Chris Nelson with Genstone Realty, and this channel is all about real estate advice, tips, and tech. So if any of that excites you, you're in the right place. But do me a favor, go ahead and drop me a comment, hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing, and mash that bell so that you're notified of my future posts. When you buy a home in a new construction development, depending on the phase, you're going to be inconvenienced by the actual construction. And these are things that you may not realize when you're actually going to the site and you're dealing with the actual builder or their representative, but keep in mind that once you make settlement on your home, the construction is gonna continue. So you may be inconvenienced by some of the larger machinery, some of the sounds that come along with building a home, and maybe the development isn't as pretty as it should be just yet, because a lot of stuff like grass, curbing, sidewalks, and a lot of other things that will complete the actual development may not be put in place by the time you make settlement. So keep in mind, that is one thing that might inconvenience you. Another thing to consider when it comes to new construction, and this is probably something that doesn't fit my lifestyle, and that is your limited ability to negotiate. When you buy a new construction home, yes, there are some things that you can customize and so forth, but when it comes to negotiating, the builder is pretty much set in stone in their ways. So the price that you see is not a negotiable price. You're not gonna be able to haggle with that builder or their sales representative and help paint a picture as to why they should accept your offer, which is lower than their asking price. So if you're looking to purchase a home where you have the ability to negotiate, new construction probably is not for you. Speaking of negotiating, when it comes to price, well, the price that you see may go up. And this really bothers me when it comes to new construction and dealing with buyers who aren't familiar with it. Because that price that you see them advertise the home for literally is the introductory price. A lot of the things that you're gonna wanna add to the home, such as your finishes, especially a lot of the things that you see in the model homes, those things that really make you fall in love with the property, come at an expense. And a lot of times those numbers are not baked into the numbers that you're seeing up front. So keep in mind that when you're buying a new construction property, you may need to go into your pockets and spend a little bit more money than you were anticipating because those numbers are gonna go up, not down. Believe it or not, buyers also go through decision fatigue. Now, in most situations, when you're buying a new construction home, there is a lot of customizing options. A lot of this is done at a third party site where you'll go and you'll pick things such as your countertops, your cabinet finishes, your appliances, your light fixtures, the type of flooring that you're gonna get, the type of hardware that's gonna go on to each door, the type of landscaping, the list goes on. And although this could be fun and very exciting, when you really dig in and you have to meet these deadlines and make these decisions relatively quickly, well, it may not be as fun as you expect. And buyers definitely get fatigue and just want the process to be done and over with so they can move into their home. So if you're not one who really likes to make a bunch of decisions, well then new construction may not be for you. And the last con that we're gonna discuss in this video, because I'm sure there are plenty other cons, but for the sake of this video, the last con is that new construction is not ideal for someone who is on a time frame or if you need to move quickly. There are a lot of delays when it comes to new construction, especially now in 2021. As a matter of fact, new construction for 2020 was also a little bit atypical because a lot of sites were shut down, people got sick, 
but it goes a little bit further than that and it's things that you don't even think about like the fact that a lot of the appliances may have been stuck on a cargo container somewhere at customs and got delayed or the recent rise in construction material costs such as lumber has also created situations where builders have to scramble and either find lumber at a different price or find a way to still make the deal work with these increased prices but all of these different moving parts when it comes to new construction is definitely something that will add to your timeline to make it worse the agreement of sale that's used for new construction is different than the agreement of sale that is used for existing homes and the language within that contract pretty much says that the builder is not liable for delays along the way now it may not read in that exact wording but in most situations if the delay is reasonable again content being stuck on a cargo container or the lack of building supplies from a third party vendor these are things that you the buyer cannot hold the seller or the builder accountable for so keep in mind that new construction is definitely for the people who have a little bit more time and flexibility when it comes to their move date now for the pros well let's face it when it comes to building a home that level of excitement is there because you get to customize the home as you see fit now, as I mentioned in some of the cons, you're going to pay for that customization, but this is something that doesn't apply when you're going and you're buying or negotiating with the seller of an existing home. You're going to get the home that they lived in with their finishes, their paint choices, their floor selections, and so forth. But new construction, you literally can a la carte and pick all of those things, which let's face it, that's pretty cool. Another thing to consider when you're buying a new construction property is that you have the peace of mind of knowing that you're getting newer, energy efficient systems and appliances. That can go a pretty long way and at the end of the day, help you save money by keeping your utility costs down. Plus, it takes out the fear of the unknown. Majority of the appliances that you get are gonna be under warranty. So you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to go out in a year or two because if they do, there usually is some type of warranty backing them, which really creates a lot of peace of mind. If low maintenance is your thing, well then new construction probably is for you. Most new developments here in PA offer some type of homeowners association. So a lot of the things like common area maintenance are gonna be taken care of for you. Some of these other developments even go a step further and orchestrate things for you like your trash collection. So if you are looking to buy a home that is low maintenance and again because these homes are newer and energy efficient that also adds to the low maintenance side of things new construction could definitely be of value to a buyer who needs or wants a home that is low maintenance and the very last pro to discuss especially in 2021 is availability now the biggest challenge that i've personally seen when it comes to real estate over the course of the last year is the lack of housing inventory housing inventory is historically low and as of right now new construction is one of the very few things that's helping to offset the housing inventory so in this situation this is probably the biggest pro of all because if you're looking to buy a home well new construction very well may be your only option I have buyers who have lost out on multiple homes and has taken over six months for them to have a contract accepted. So when we go back to one of the previous statements made about the delays that it could take to actually build a home, it may all come out in the wash because if it takes you six months to find a home and go under contract and maybe another 45 days to settle on that home, you're seven or eight months in. And depending on the new construction development you're looking at and what phase they're in, well, I do know builders that are able to turn over those keys in a six month time frame. So the last pro when it comes to new construction is the fact that it is helping the actual real estate market by providing inventory that would not be there otherwise. So there you have it. There are my pros and cons between buying new construction versus an existing home. So if any of this has been of value to you, consider subscribing or sharing and do me a favor check in next week for the very next just a tip tuesday with chris until then take care